Hey guys, Daniel James here, and today is episode, I'm going to call it three, so we're counting the pilot episode as episode one, episode three of Today with Daniel James. Um, again, it's called that because of chat's uh, relentlessness in mocking the way I say today at the start of streams. It's nothing special, but alas, that's what it is now. So today's topic, as you can see right in front of us, I'm actually going to have to zoom that in so I can see it from the distance here. So today's question is from Patrick Hunt, who is at Hunter R4708 on Twitter. And his question is pretty controversial topic of piracy, sample library piracy to be specific. What do people think about it? What does the industry think about it? And how is the industry affected by it? Now, this is obviously, obviously a, uh, this is not a new problem for us. This is not a new problem for, for our industry, unfortunately. I mean, as I said, we're not going to pass judgments in this show today. If anybody does call and tries to de defend piracy, this is going to be considered a safe space today because we want to hear everybody's uh, take. We want to hear the take on why it exists. Uh, why piracy exists in general, why people think it's okay, and you know why people think it's not okay. These are the things we're going to be talking today. But as always, we'll start with my point of view. So piracy, as some of you know, I am also a sample library developer. So in today's show, we will cover both aspects. You know, whether it be piracy of your music or piracy of, uh, you know, sample libraries, anything to do with music and piracy, we can discuss today. I'm not going to keep it so narrowed in or <laughs> one genre like we did in the last one. So. Yeah, as I was saying, um, some of you who know me already know that I own a sample library company called Hybrid 2, which is why this channel that I'm streaming this on is, is called Hybrid 2. Um, and so, you know, we're a sample library developer, and, and I think probably sample libraries is one of the most pirated, uh, you know, other than video games, probably the most pirated industry in the world. I mean, okay, music doesn't count. Okay. <laughs> when you get rid of all the obvious things, it's like one of the, the one. OK, yeah, they're all obvious. I don't know why I'm trying to justify it more, but yeah, it's a big problem. OK, it's a big problem in the music sample library industry. Um, I don't think there's a sample library that's ever been made that hasn't been pirated somewhere. Um, so obviously, you know, I am I am very anti anti piracy. Um, and one of the one of the biggest things that often pops up, which I've never been a fan of, and I'm sure some of you have heard it too. We've all been in those arguments. The argument is, well, piracy isn't stealing because you're not losing anything. I'm just making a copy. Therefore, you're not losing any physical items. So how can I be how can I be stealing from you if I'm not if I'm not taking anything from you? Well, you see, Timmy, let me tell you, Timmy. Timmy's our thief today. Let me tell you, Timmy. In grown-up society, when you want something and someone else has it, a transaction is made. A transaction. So there's you, there's you, little Timmy, you thieving bastard. And there's me, the person with the sample library. Now I've I'm holding, I'm holding my sample library in my hands. And Timmy, Timmy the little shit, he's just he's just making a copy. You know, he's not taking he's not taking my my thing. He's not taking my sample library out of my hands, but, you know, he's, he's making a copy of it anyway. And then he walks away and says, fuck you. I didn't take shit from you. Look, you're still holding it. Okay, Timmy, 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 Timmy. When a transaction is made, we're both supposed to get something, okay? If you want a thing that I have, you don't get to just copy it and take it. That's, that's stealing. And let me tell you why that's stealing, Timmy. When a transaction is made, the goods are provided and compensation is given. That is how the transaction is done. If you do not do the transaction, you are doing the stealing, right? Because you've, you've taken, you've taken something. You are one, plus one from this transaction. And I am, even, even though I'm not minus one, I'm still at zero. For a transaction to be done legally, we both have to be plus one. We both have to have got something and agreed upon something, Timmy. And usually that thing is cash, cold, hard cash. <laughs> and you see, Timmy, when, when you take, when you, when you copy that library, what's supposed to happen? Because legitimate copies are still copies, Timmy. 
No, I don't give the original version of every library to a person and then remake it from scratch. They're all copies. They're all copies, Tim. But what you're taking from me is that cold hard cash out of my pocket. When you take that item from my store, Timmy, you're supposed to give me that cold hard cash, baby. And you see, when you don't give me that cash, that's what you're stealing. So it matters not. It matters not that you didn't take a physical item from me. You took my cold hard cash out of my pocket. I don't know why I have to do that bit in a little American accent at the end. Maybe I've been, uh, I've been, but that's the story of Timmy. How many of you in the chat room now, how many of you have heard a story similar to this in justification of piracy that, that they are not physically taking an object, therefore how can it be stealing? You just have to remind them that they're stealing the cash from your pocket. Just, just, you know. Yeah, a few of you have heard it. A few of you have heard it. But anyway, it's less about me, which is, which is a fun thing for me to say. Today, we're actually going to be talking to some people live on the stream. And if you're just joining in and you would like to have your say on piracy, I'm more interested to hear what, if you guys think it's damaging the industry. Something I can tell you, uh, you know, if someone wants to discuss the sales of, let's say, like Project Chaos or Project Bravo or Project Alpha, some, something that I've made, definitely been affected by piracy. Sales, cliff drop-offs, everything. Anyway, so uh, if you'd like to call in and have your say on piracy today, all you have to do is download Discord, get an account, and then in the chat room, I'm going to spam the link. Uh, you just click that, join the chat room, put yourself in the queue. That lets me know that you would like to come in for a chat today. Okay, so first I need to move myself into the room. So let's try bringing someone in, someone we haven't used before, Mr. No. Hello, Mr. No, you are on the stream. Can you hear me? You see now, this this is always the part. Yeah, where you... yeah, okay, Whoa. I can I can hear you. There I'm we sorry, go. Mi no, I, I was I... confusing because I had you double time and I had to stop the stream. So yes, yeah, that, that was fun. Yeah, ju so just pre warning before I drag you in. If you're in the uh, if you're in the chat room and you get dragged in, be ready to mute your stream, otherwise you're going to hear yourself. <laughs> Which uh, I don't know if you watched the last stream. We had uh, we had somebody struggling with <laughs> quite horribly, but anyway, that is. Neither here yeah, I watched it on that. YouTube, but uh, I'm Mr. still going no. to, to school. So. Mr. No, my good friend. Piracy. Yeah, piracy. piracy. So I think Tell, talk to piracy. Me. So first, piracy in general, I think um, it can't be really justified because you obviously, I think it's stealing. Right. But on the other side, me as a student, I can't afford everything. It's too fucking... Um, right. It's just... It's not cheap enough. <laughs> yeah, and I can't that, afford that, it, is, so. that is uh, one of the, the most common justifications. It's... I couldn't afford yeah, it's, it, it's, it, it's therefore kind of, it I will take kind of, it. Yeah. Right, so if I would have the money, I obviously would buy it. And in the future, I want to buy everything right. because I think it's just better. And I want to support the people who are making those um, libraries for me because they are just... I, I wouldn't download them if I uh, wouldn't like them. Right. So I think giving them the money for it is the, the deal you would do. Um, how, how do you feel on, on the ethics of that, though? So let's say for... Um, Let's say, for example, that you, you were never going to buy it and you weren't planning on making any money with it or anything like that. But, um, you know, so you weren't going to make any money. You thought, fuck it. Again, I'm not accusing. <laughs> that sounds very accusing. Yeah, I don't, don't worry, I, I'm not accusing. I I, but uh, no, no. You, you download the library because you couldn't afford it anyway and you just want to play yeah. with it. Now, ethically, what you, I what think you do in that situation is you're actually devaluing the worth of that sample library. Yeah, right. Because you have it. That means that let's say that one person bought it for a thousand dollars and a hundred people download it for three for free. Do you not think that that devalues the worth of that thing? If he, if you were the only person to have those sounds, the worth, I think the value of, of that item would be much greater. If everybody has it, regardless of whether or not they were going to buy it, you know, if everybody has it, whether they bought it or pirated it, does the value of that item go down? Do you think? Yeah, I, th I think it goes down. Um, you said that um, if I will, I, I was not going to make any money on it, but I think that right. doesn't matter because you obviously are making something with it, and you have fun doing things with it, and you are using it, and that's that's the the point on buying it, whether or not you are uh, making money out of it. You are using it, so you should pay for it. But um, yeah, it's not always easy, right? <laughs> right. Well, th well, that's the thing, and it's. Um... 
I mean, how do, how do you genuinely feel? Because I've always been split on it, you know, like as a developer and, and stuff, you know, I've always, I, you know, the, 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 the two sides of the story is, well, you want, you want these kids to be able to buy, you want them to be successful enough so that they can buy your sample libraries, right? And I know that we've had this talk at Hybrid 2 before, and and I like no decision has been made, you know, because we have watermarking and things on our libraries, you know, because we have to deal with piracy. But there is yeah. also that school of thought that, well, if the lower, lower end of our industry, you know, the people who can't afford it but aren't talented, if they were to pirate the library and then make themselves successful enough that they have a career where they can then buy those libraries and yeah. continue to buy your future libraries, is that not a long-term benefit? To, you know, I think I think it is. I think yeah. it is a long term. Benefit, so, but, so um, perhaps, so perhaps, pirate. It, it, we we need to rethink piracy. Perhaps. How about this? So instead of it, like instead of it being like a criminal thing, it becomes like a loan. Yeah, so it is an interesting maybe thought, you but... can, Maybe you can loan the library until you make enough money, but then as soon as you make money, you pay it off. You know that way. That way, you, you see what I'm saying? Like because so, I understand yeah, yeah, but the logic many... of the piracy. I understand, but how many people do you think are actually gonna um, buy it in the future just because they once pirated one of your libraries? I don't think there are too many people doing it. Well, I, 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 think, I was, um, you know, I was, I was running this concept, and it, you know, other companies are willing to steal it. But what we were thinking of doing, uh, me and Aaron, for example, because of this problem, is creating a a, a library, which is, uh, it's it's going to be a loan library, so it's it's free at the time you get it. But then, as soon as you make enough money using it, you buy it. I mean, that would have to yeah, run I on think, an honor system. I think <laughs> it's not a sample library, but um, FL Studio they like you. You can like legally pirate it. I think right. um, they they once did this thing. I don't know if it's still on, but where you could pirate it, and they said like if you can't afford it, just pirate it and don't get any viruses. And I think that was a very interesting thought because um, I actually did it because I hadn't had the money and I wanted to try it out. It was like a demo for me just to to see how this product works and stuff like that. So um, per perhaps we need more demo versions, is what you mean? Yeah, I like, think so I think we need demo versions. I I I definitely think. Like I um now got the um composers cloud, and I think that's very interesting because it is kind of a demo. You buy it for a year, and after it you can like think about oh okay this library I used very often and this not so I now cancel my plan and am am going to buy this and this library because I use them a lot and I like them a lot. Um. But it, it it is like kind of a demo, right? Right. Yeah, and and as as the chat rooms mentioned, there there are things now um, which I think are, are huge strides in the right direction. Rent to own, so you pay. Yeah, rent to own you, is like yeah, you the pay most like amazing thing I've ever seen. Whatever. And then at yeah. the end, you get to keep the thing. That's that's some very clever things and some juicy talk, Mister No. And thank you so much for calling yeah, in. You. We are going to move on. Is there anything you'd like to say to the chat room, sir, before we do? Uh, have an amazing day. <laughs> Have an amazing day, chat. Everybody say thank you to Mr. No for his uh, wonderful call in today. So we had a few little things that we went over there. Um, we went over the ethics. And th an interesting point came up. Is it ever beneficial for a company to have successful people using the libraries, even if they pirated it? Because if they use those libraries to become successful and then they can... Then you have a customer who can afford all the other things. Perhaps loan libraries are the future. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. If you'd like to call in, remember Discord, and then you click on the old link. Remember chat room, by the way. If you would like me to read your comment on the stream, make sure to put at hybrid2 in the, uh, in the message. That way it will uh, highlight for me, and I will be able to see when you want to call in. But anyway, let's move on to our next caller. So, Andrew Blackwater, can you hear me, sir? If you can. Yeah, I can stand. hear you. Wait, let's mute the stream. Hey, man. Yep. Bear with me one second. I just need to turn you up. Don't worry, you don't need to do anything. So, Andrew, piracy. How is it, how is it affecting our industry, do you think? Yeah, I think, um, I don't know, like, it, it probably depends on the industry like they're smaller which 
couldn't like afford someone pirating their software but then like i don't know native instruments getting a lot of money maybe they could i don't know i don't know them so you think um, size matters perhaps so piracy not so much a big deal for native instruments but when it comes to the single person developers it becomes a big big issue is that what you're saying i yeah if, probably think so. I, I don't know them. I don't know they are, uh, what they are getting or what they are earning. Do, do you think, so, yeah. so Andrew, do you think there's ever a justification for piracy? I think like, like Mr. No said, like when you can't afford it, it's probably a bit of justificated. I know a few people saying like, I pirated to buy it. Right. But on the other hand, they might say that now and when they got the money they think oh but i'd rather buy now buy this library instead of buying the one i pirated earlier right so so i i no, yeah. go ahead go ahead i i never pirated i was kind of against it i like i started with fl studio working three years with uh, with just the demo version which yeah. was hard but <laughs> i didn't like pirating so I didn't do it. Then I started out with, like, when I started out with orchestral music, I started off with SSO, VS, well, you know, the the free ones like Sonatina, yeah, stuff like that, and which was so, good so for and, the start. Andrew, Andrew as you so yeah. you, you you were saying that like you can understand the justification, you know, if they weren't going to buy it or if they can't afford it, you know. Do you not think though? Um, as as a justification, not being able to afford something shouldn't be a reason for piracy. Like there's a few that I can kind of get behind, but I feel like that I can't afford it. Therefore, I'll just take it. Uh, that that for, do you, do you not think that that somewhat devalues it for those who yeah. actually pay the full amount? It 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 actually does. I I think so, and that that's why I don't um do it but like when people do it, I I don't judge them for doing it. I say it's your choice. I wouldn't do it, but it's it's okay. Yeah. Okay. So ethically, I mean, like I know we've already kind of jumped into this. So ethically, oh, yeah. do you think do, do you, and I need to stop doing these yes or no? How what do you what do you think ethically it means for the industry if we start, let's say, tackling piracy more aggressively? Do you think there'll be a pushback to that? Or do you think that we're not doing enough? to push uh, piracy out of our industry, sample library industry specifically I'm talking about. But. I mean, like I, I, like I said, I don't know how much it actually hurts the industry, right. but I think um, like moving against it, like in, like really aggressively isn't probably the right way. But like you said with Mr. No, that it should be like, like these subscription plans, they're like the FL studio, thing with pirated and then buy it which i didn't know about but i didn't know if i would do it then so so so, so you you like it kind of are you kind of suggesting and i i, I hate to put it like that because it feels like i'm putting words in your mouth but like it's it's the industry that themselves which is sort of responsible for piracy because they're not providing uh access correctly so so like you say uh you know perhaps things like rent to own should be more commonplace because it's not for a lack of desire for the product or wanting to pay for it. It's just people can't justify the payment, therefore they steal it. Is that is that kind uh, of right? No, I, I don't think it's like their their responsibility. I think it's of course the responsibility of the people who are pirating. So uh but they could do it and it would be pretty nice if they would do it. Yeah. By the way, just just to double check, like a little admin, uh, can everybody in the chat room hear Andrew okay? I'm just checking volume levels because you're occasionally quiet, so I'm just going to turn you up. Okay, yeah, I can move closer to the microphone oh, and <laughs> just set it up. You got Is right it too loud now? Um, yeah, sorry, I, I just set up my new audio interface and now I'm using a different mic. I used a shitty 10 fine. euro but anyway, microphone back, back before. I was saying. Yeah, so sure. when, I was blaming, uh, when I was blaming the sample library industry, what I was more suggesting was that do you think piracy would be less of an issue if there were more accessible ways for people to 
cover their justification. So, for example, people say they can't afford it, therefore they won't buy it. But if you introduce a rent to own, you know, something where you pay a little bit of a little bit of money over time that people can afford, then those people would be more likely to pay. Uh, but how would you how would you say, for example, fix something where someone says, I'm only doing this for a hobby, therefore I need to steal it? I think it's then not justificated and then they it's like okay to like aggressively if if they are going to say okay we make it more accessible but then we go more aggressive against actual privacy no. i think it's okay that way okay well andrew thank you so much for calling in no is there problem. anything you would like to say to the chat room before you move on no i think <laughs> Have a nice evening. Everybody, I'm going to stop asking that question because everybody goes, no, nah, not really. <laughs> Anybody. Chat, thank you. Everybody say yeah. a big thank you to Andrew Blackwater. Thank you, Andrew, for the call. So that was it. That was an interesting call there. Um, again, this isn't what he was saying, but something I derived from what he was saying is that somewhat uh, the piracy problem is somewhat down to the industry and the developers themselves. You know, like, and I, I do think that's right. Accessibility. Uh, is something we can work on. And, and the fact that we we spend more time pursuing legal action or pursuing pirates instead of trying to, you know, just bite, <laughs> bite down, you know, oh, damn it, you know, and just accept the fact that there is more that we can be doing, perhaps. You know, I'm going to write that down. Is there more we can be doing? Um, because, you know, uh, as 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 people have said, things like rent to own or, you know, like, like I was talking about loan libraries, low ones that are free. And then, you know, you pay for it once you can, or, um, these, these problems can be covered, you know, like, uh, the, the justification for the piracy in that situation is I can't afford it and I'll never be able to afford it in a lump sum, the way it's being sold. Therefore I'm never going to buy it. You know, why would I, why would I do that? So I'll just take it, you know, because, the, the option to take it is there, so I will. But then when you get the other justifications, the, the, I'm not taking anything, I'm copying it. How do we deal with those people? Um, you know, how do we deal with those people? I, I need to write these down. How do we deal with those people? <laughs> okay, again, if you would like to call in, remember Discord and then join the chat room. So let's, let's bring in someone we've had on the show before, Zenteka. Can you hear me? You're live on the show. Looks like Zenteka is muted. So we're just going to... Oh, Oops, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, Zenteka. Welcome back to the show. How are you today, sir? Yeah, thank you. How are you? I am very well. So, so Zenteka, tell me, what, what, what is the most common, the most common excuse for piracy you hear? Basically, the same as the previous one is that they can't afford it. Basically, they can't afford it's it, and so in... or an accessibility. Well, I'm just gonna have to ask you to perhaps turn your microphone up a bit or talk closer if you can. Uh, so you're very oh, quiet. Sorry, that's okay. So, uh, give me so you second. you think the the not being able to afford it is the biggest reason for piracy? Yeah, sort of that, and that they can't access it in most cases. That and access. So with the first, with the first. Do, so do you think it's ethically justified for people to take or do you think it's onus on the developers to make it easier for people to buy? Generally, I don't think it's justifiable to uh, copy or uh, illegally download it. But on this, at the same side, I do think the developers do need to uh, give pe people an easier time to actually get their product because... Right. At least for the newer generation, that the ones that are actually working up towards getting those like expensive libraries, we can't afford them. Right at, the, right. at this time. So, have you have you out of interest tried uh, the East West Composer Cloud? I did use it in the beginning. Yes. So, what do you sure. think? What do you think of that structure for sample libraries for our industry? Would we benefit from a subscription model? Subscription model. I guess to some degree, yes, but 
I mean, do you, like my, my point there, my point there is, 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 do you think pirates, you know, the people who, whose excuse for piracy is I cannot afford it, therefore I will take it. Do you think they're more, more likely to get involved in a subscription service if there's enough content? So f the East West Composer Cloud is insane amounts of quality, you know, like lots oh, yeah. of content and it's cheap, you know, and you can go per month. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've even worked on projects before where, you know, like I've had someone like a, an assistant who wants to write with me who don't have the best sample libraries, you know, I just yeah. tack on a, uh, an East West subscription cloud, you know, to their, their invoice, you know, and that's not their invoice, their, their pay, you know, I pay them for the, and, and that's it. I know they have quality and, and that's easy for me to do. And that saves them having to, you know, figure out how they're going to get access to the libraries. So do you think if more companies went subscription model, we would see less piracy perhaps? I do think so to a certain degree, like, okay. but at the same time, I don't, it, it kind of will and it kind of won't because the ones that are already pirating, it will probably not go back. Right. So I it's like a like. cultural thing. So once, once a pirate, always a pirate. Yeah. Kind of like that. Like I won't always say that. I, um, judge, judgment time. I did use to, I downloaded a legal version of FL studio back when I was like 15 or something. Mm -hmm. And now I've like upgraded to, and bought a real dog. <gasps> you pirate, right? Uh, Chat. We found yeah. a pirate. Everybody get your details <laughs> down. To get his details. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't, don't worry. Today's don't a safe me. space. <laughs> Today's a safe space. I'm I'm just winding yeah. you up. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. And like that was that was one of the justifications I've always struggled with, is you know as a developer and you know like obviously I've been a kid as well. You know during the birth of the internet, so I know what these things yeah. are like. Um, yeah, and now, and now it's like um, I don't justify doing it. Like I, when I think back of it, it's like that was a bad thing to, to well, do. Well, but that's what I'm saying. So like the justification is like from the developer side is okay. So this kid is pirating the library, right? Yeah. But if they're talented enough. You know, if, if they look like they're going to be successful, that's what I was talking about with loanware is if you make mm -hmm. it so that, OK, that kid who's not going to buy it anyway, they have the thing. But, you know, we have an agreement that when they or if they earn enough money to buy it, they will. Uh, th yeah. That way, what you're doing is you're supporting you're supporting a, a, a potential future customer, you know, because they have the ability yeah, to make money they then have the ability to buy your libraries in the future. So that you may have then, you know, somehow through illicit means raised like a, a, a successful, you know, composer by a, a allowing certain degrees of, you know, bad behavior. Does that make sense? It's really hard to explain, yeah. but it's like, if you allow, if you, if you cultivate them being a composer, eventually they'll be successful enough to buy all the things, you know? So like maybe there's a long-term goal. And that's what I was talking about in terms of loans, like, because we're yeah, watermark, so we can see when our, our libraries pop up with in certain places, what would yeah. be interesting is instead of going after that person with a, uh, a lawsuit, <laughs> you go after them with, okay, look, we, we know you've got the thing. If you ever make it, just buy it, please. You know, if, yeah, if there yeah, was yeah. a way for us to do that, I would love to do that, you know? Because like you say, you know, I, I hate piracy from a, I'm a small developer, you know, so obviously every pirate, every pirated copy I feel, but at the same time, I also understand it, but like, I can't, con you know, I can't, uh, you know, I can't back it, <laughs> but no. you know what I mean? Like I kind of, I kind of get it, but, um, you know, it, it would have to go to an honor system of people, you know, agreeing to pay for it. Do you think something like that could ever work, Zentech? Yeah, I... I don't think it only works, but it's already been proven. Uh, what is uh, Unreal Engine already does that? They right. do a sub or not subscription, but it's whenever you make pass. I think it's twenty thousand dollars or something like that. They, right. Then you have to pay like extra royalties for using Unreal Engine. But in general, it is free. Right. Well, but the different the difference there is they release the engine free so that more people would use it, and then they would get more lives. And then that's what I'm saying. Like the the reason the yeah, sample yeah. library industry is set up the way it is now. Is because it is like it's a difficult and expensive thing in order to track when and where every single one of your samples is used. You know what I mean? So that like there would have to be a yeah. lot of honor system in place for it to be operational. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that, it's not a good way to go about it. For, yeah, there, there's, there's no way to release. you know there's no way to get your royalties in the long term <laughs> to absorb yeah. them from the the people who stole it. But what I'm saying is is that like 
at the end of the day where, you know, like obviously, uh, uh, it can get aggressive, but we're all we're all musicians in the end. We all just want to create. And what yeah. what I'm interested to hear is like, and if you have one, please jump in. Is ideas of how we can take these people who want to be part of the composer community legitimately. How can we get them on board? Oh, <laughs> don't worry. I wasn't expecting an answer, but because that's literally the the question. <laughs> yes, yeah, like, that is a very hard question, actually. I mean, like, well, where, where would you approach it? What, like, do you, so you think it is the money? It's a financial thing. Do you think that's the source of the problem? Do you think it's attitude towards piracy, perhaps? I think it's both. Right. So like, it's cult, like it's some degree culture. Like people pirate because yeah. pirating is a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like people will download uh, things that are like, I don't know, Game of Thrones. Right. They, but just just as an, as an example, yeah. And they won't pay an, any. Uh, they won't pay much mind to it because it's like, who are we robbing? Like, no. well, do but, do you think to some degree piracy is also like it's almost like voting with your wallet? I I actually don't like this. I've heard this argument before, and I don't like it. It's you did something I don't like. This normally happens in the video game world. You you did something yeah. I don't like. Therefore, I'm gonna play your game, but I'm not gonna pay you for it. You know what I mean? This kind yeah, of punishment yeah, yeah. attitude. What do you think of that? That is a stupid reason to go about it. Let me, that, honestly speaking, that is just. But stupid. but it's culturally almost accepted. Do you know what I mean? Not not obviously not yeah. between like people who try to live legitimately. But I mean, when you no, read no. a message board forum or like I, you've seen it on torrent things, you know, like torrent websites yeah. for music stuff, is a, like sometimes you get the comments like this person. You know, I've I've even I've 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 heard or I've read comments on torrent sites for our libraries, which always sucks to see, by the way, yeah. <laughs> saying that they were going to pirate it because they didn't like something I said about another library in a video, and that was their reason <laughs> for stealing. And it's like yeah. I've never understood. And why do you think the culture, like, why do you think culture in general, uh, kind of ends up creating this kind of attitude towards piracy? I think it's it's not generally culture, but maybe more internet culture, right. where you're an anonymous, like no one will figure out like where mm. you are. So it's you think anonymity? Of... Anonym. Anon anonymity is a problem because of it. That's why you have internet bullying. That's why you have stealing. That's why you have why people are being dicks for no right. reason. So perhaps perhaps something along the lines of. I, I, I'm i spitballing here because these are all bad ideas. But like if yeah. there was a way to make it so that sample, like again, bringing it back to sample, like if there was a way to make it so that everything you did on the internet was <laughs> tracked, <laughs> that doesn't sound uh, like a good idea. But at yeah, the same time, at the thing. same time, in, in real life, if you do, if you want to do something. You have to you have to be you. You know what I mean. You can't send a proxy yeah. unless you know. Obviously, you can send a proxy to go do bad things for you, but I'm not encouraging that yeah. behavior. Obviously, but in real life, you you know, like if if I want to drive, I have to have a driving license. If I want to, you know, if I want to uh, go to work, I have to have my employee ID. You know, everything has to be me. And that the reason you do that is accountability. If you crash a car, they need to put points on your license so that they know that you are a worse driver. Perhaps. Yeah. Something like an internet license would be worthwhile. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody can have the internet, yeah. but you have to you have to be on the internet as you. You know what I mean? I mean, I would hate yeah. to be I would hate to be the NSA agent that's scouring through my porn history. You know what I mean? Just the, <laughs> just the the complete left turns that they would find. You know what I mean? Like it would be quite an adventure. Yeah. But that's what I'm It'd saying. Like, it's do you think something like that may kind of Maybe maybe a sample library license, <laughs> maybe something yes. like this. So you know, you you submit your re real details. Obviously, you would need some sort of overarching body that controls that because you don't want to be sending that much detail to every. I mean, you do when you buy, you know, when you use yeah. credit cards and stuff. But perhaps some sort of unanimous. <laughs> that's going to be a tongue twister. Something that makes yeah. you not anonymous anymore. Like we need, yeah, do, do you think that, do you think something along those lines or something similar has potential? I do think so. But at what point does it stop from people to avoid that? People will always right. try to well, work around those things. It, it's, well, and, and also it's the balancing act of privacy versus protection, yeah, obviously, exactly. you know, because you don't want to be giving away all that information. But yeah, yeah as yeah, you yeah. say, like 
<clears throat> but then what's to stop the pirates just going around that as well? It's yeah, it's it's, like, it's a big went, problem. They went through one barrier. They went through one barrier. What's going to stop them from going through the next one as well? Right, right. And why do you think they do that? Why why do you think like once once an olive branch or or a, a means like for example, serum is rent to own, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think people still pirate it? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It is affordable now. Do you think that comes down to the culture? It's culture and morals. Generally, morals. So you think it's morals. a low moral standard thing? Like they don't, yeah. they just literally don't care. Yeah. I, I've known people that download basically everything. And how do like, we deal with people that just don't care? I don't know. That's a thing. How do we do it? It's like we can't just give them a slap on the wrist and go let that, them go off. That is that is the big question. Zenteca, thank you so much for calling in today. Is there anything you'd like to say before you leave? Um, not much. Everyone have a nice day. Hey, thank you so much, Zenteca. Everybody, a big thank you to Zenteca in the chat room, please. So I'm gonna go through and read a few comments that I missed. Boy, there's a lot of them. Oh. So Forks2403 says, hey, Daniel, if you could only one library, which would you choose? I asked a Ashton Gleckman and he said, boy. <laughs> um, if I could only have one library in the whole world, Omnisphere, because it's got a bit of everything. Contact, contact factory library. Um, okay, Spitfire is using watermarks. Is what's my opinion? I think I think watermarks are, are like we have them at hybrid two as well, and like without going too much into the technology, basically just imprints a little bit of information here and there that we can read, uh, and that we can we can extract from certain things, and basically it just contains information in there that indicates to us who the purchaser was for said library, um, you know, and and. I think it's okay. It's nothing that you would ever sonically notice, nothing you would ever be aware of. And it is, it's more of a, like a GPS than anything, you know, it's just double checking, just double checking the, uh, you know, so that when something pops up on a pirate site, we can, we can see w from where it came. Um, okay. Okay, so Mr. No says, I think it devalues it, but like you said, I think many people afterwards would buy when they did their start in the industry earn enough money. I think you have to start somewhere, even though it might ethically not be the thing, not to justify it, but most of the real big companies did illegal things to get then get sober. It's not, sorry, I apologize. I'm just reading it the way it's written. It's not good that way, but it's just how the world works. And I agree to that to a certain point. I don't think piracy is ever going away, but at the same time, I do think there's probably more developers can be doing, you know, particularly in terms of access. Uh, one of the big reasons for piracy I see, you know, with TV shows is, well, we can't get the show here, therefore we'll just steal it. And that's always an odd one to me. Like that, that's always one where I'm like, I wonder why, why the production company was that naive, you know, like, so they release something, but they only release it in one territory, even though everybody's talking about it because people will just pirate it, I think. You know what I mean? There's that certain degree of you can't have this that makes a human go, fuck you, yes, I can. Like, and if you say, no, you can't have it, that's that's when piracy starts to feel justified to people. So, it, you know, as developers, as creators, obviously I think there's more we can do, you know. If you're if you're if you have something popular, you can't expect to release it in just one territory and not expect the people you're telling who can't have it that they won't get it somehow. But, Oh, my dog's getting excited by that fact. Um, but yes, anyway, justifications are are very tough when it comes to piracy. But I am hearing I'm hearing some good uh, conversational points on it. Uh, Fis Fisco nine nine four says my opinion only because X thousand people pirated software does not mean that this money does not mean this is missing money on the creator's side. I would say 75% of those who pirated it would never buy it. They just download it because it's not, it does not cost them anything. The other thing that is very stu uh, stupid for people like me who pays for every software library uh, is the insane authorization methods that drive you crazy. Hardware dongles, crazy registering and software authorization. Cracking software is easy. So these are, again, this, this I think is probably a fault of the developer. Obviously I'm not, uh, removing all blame from people who pirate things. If you pirate things, you're still stealing stuff. 
we're just going to have to agree to disagree on this. Uh, and I think probably the law's on my side on this one. But I, the whole, the justification for um, they weren't going to buy it, therefore you didn't lose anything, is something I disagree with. Uh, and my just my explanation for that is, if you take, if you copy a library, yes, I'm physically not losing the library, but I am losing the money that is owed to me. So if you're using my thing, you owe me money. That's how that works. Like that's the that's the agreement that comes with whether you pirate it or not, that is, if you use, if you're using these sounds, it means that you owe me money. You owe me the, the, the fee, the payment that I was, you know, that this thing is right. And it, it matters not whether or not you were going to buy it in the first place because you have it, because you're using it, because you owned it, you've agreed to the transaction. That's how that, that's how society works. If you're playing a video game, you're, you are getting your half of the transaction, whether you, pirated it or whether you purchased it. So uh, it, it matters not whether or not they would buy it in the first place. Because they took it, they've they've entered the transaction. So now what is owed to me is the money, right? And, you know, like that's that's what they're, they're taking. And, and, and you may say, well, they weren't going to give you money in the first place. Well, yes, in that case, they can't have the thing because by owning it, they're also buying into that um, devaluation of the product that everybody agrees to when you buy something. Like if a brand new car comes out and only one person owns it, you know, that, that car has a lot of value to it. But if that car comes out and everybody has it, you know, everybody buys it with the understanding everybody has access to it, you know, you also understand that it's going to be less valuable to resell or it's going to be less valuable to you in the long run. That's just how things work. The more saturated something is, the less valuable it becomes. So whether or not you would have bought it, you have taken it, which means that you have devalued it, which means you have taken from the developer. So I, I, like, I'm, I'm going to need to hear more explanation for that justification because I, I, am, I am not behind that one whatsoever because... That, that's just the way things work. If you take, if you use, if you consume, you are, you are part of that transaction. If you're taking someone else's thing and using it, you, you're already in. You can't just say, well, I wasn't going to do it anyway because you are doing it. You just haven't paid for it yet. That's why it's stealing. If I walk out of the shop, it doesn't matter like with something. It doesn't matter if I've used it yet or not. Like I've taken it. Like I owe them money. That's how the transaction works. This thing is irrelevant. The thing that I'm holding is irrelevant. If I've taken something that belonged to them, even if I went in and copied it, like that's still theirs, you know? Anyway. Anyway, that, that last explanation has got some holes in it, but doesn't doesn't negate the, the, the fact of the whole. Okay, right. Let's bring in, I think it's we're time for a, another caller. So let's bring in sound designer... Fran. Sound designer Fran looks like he's muted both his headphones and his microphone, so he might be unaware of the fact that I am talking to him. Right, no. Okay, we'll just wait for him to come back. Okay, let's bring in a good old friend of the stream, Piano Hal. Ah, Hal, how hello. you doing? How you doing, mate? I'm You're doing right? great. You're doing great? So, so how piracy? Is it a problem? <sighs> I would say yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Oh, it's hard to be explained. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it is. It's it's definitely tough to explain. So, what do you think of what do you think of the justification that that I just read out on the stream there? So, the people who say they wouldn't buy it anyway, therefore, I'm not losing anything as a developer. What do you think about that? What that they just take it and wouldn't buy it anyway? Yeah, they say they say I'm, I wouldn't buy this anyway. Therefore, you don't lose anything as a developer when I steal it from you because I wasn't going to give you money anyway. That what sounds you wrong. That? You, just, <laughs> you just think it's wrong? Do you think there's any justification for piracy? No. I mean, I do it myself with like movies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But... All right, if I get that extra plus one, you don't get anything. You're right. basically left with a minus one. That's well, what you yeah. got. Well, that, that's that's the point I was making. Like, it, all of human interaction is is transactions. And, you know, if you take something from me, you know, if in, in civil society, I'm expected compensation for the thing you took. 
That's that's yeah. an agreed upon thing. You you took the thing from me, and in return of taking that thing from me, this is expected in return. So when people do don't do that, and people just happily say, "I don't feel like doing that," how do we deal with those people as an industry? We spray their heads with acid. <laughs> we, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Not condoning any acid attacks or anything like that. I've seen British media currently going crazy over this shit. <laughs> I'm not getting involved. We can't. We, we can't hey, have that. I'm I don't care. <laughs> no, none, none of those insinuations. But no, in a realistic way, like, how do we as an indi- like, do we do we need to do we need to start putting people on display? Like, we find pirates and then what? We promote that this person's a pirate. Do we attack the pro the problem aggressively? Do we do a more defensive? Do we make it uh, our libraries easier to access? Like, how do we get rid of these prob- these problems? I mean. If you discover, say, like, I've pirated some of your software, I've never done it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. let's say you discover me doing it. Right. I would encourage you to contact me personally firsthand and be like, hey, why? Right. If you don't get a straight answer from me, then you can start, like, publicly explode. Ah. Right. You can start, like, exposing me. That sounds wrong. Exposed. How anyway. exposed? <laughs> <laughs> the expose we we were all <laughs> we were all dying for but do you think what, what do you think about the ethics of it what do you think about these people uh like what is going through their mind when they tell themselves that taking is okay like how how do you culturally root out a problem like that uh, better upbringing i don't know <laughs> so you think it is better upbringing so do you think the like the the responsibility lies perhaps on like industry leaders so like we need, we need, uh, you know, like people, I'm, I'm, again, I'm not saying that I'm important, but people who have platforms in our industry, do you think it's something we should try and inform people that like, Hey, in our industry, it's not that cool. You know what I mean? Because I think in video games and in movies, like to a degree, it's almost accepted. Do you know what I mean? Like I've even seen yeah, like companies yeah. referencing their piracy scores for how popular their content is, you know? Do, yeah, do you think no, perhaps like, I pirate movies all the time, and I don't feel bad about it. Right, and, but that's because it's and, become like a world standard. And that's what I'm saying. That's a cultural thing, and I, I feel like you can't yeah. tackle piracy as an as a one big monster. I feel like you have to hack its limbs off. So perhaps, yeah. like, what do you, do you think? There's any worth, perhaps, in you know, like, as an industry of film composers. We just we we make we make a decision as a group. Perhaps you know, we just say that okay. What, do what you do in your in your you know in the rest of your life, but when it comes to this industry, do not pirate or you're not one of us. Do you feel like perhaps closing closing our borders down will help? I mean, that seems a bit harsh. But, that, but that's <laughs> what I'm saying. So, like the acceptable group, if you want to be able to talk on our, our message boards, if you want to be talk, you know, be able to talk in our Facebook groups, then you have to, like in just in our industry, in our industry, you have to be legit. Like, and 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 you see what I mean? If you can, if you can twist the, I mean, obviously it's not going to happen overnight. But if you were ma- if you were able to get into the consciousness of our industry that it it is required to be legitimate in order for people to take you seriously. Are you not then more likely for people who actually want to do it to start being more serious with it, you know, to start being more legitimate? And therefore, so when people think of our industry, they think, oh, no, you don't want to pirate there. You know, there's a there's a negative because there's no real negative downside to pirating, unfortunately. You know what I mean? They don't really there's no real ostracization ostracization. <laughs> uh, what? <you'd, laughs> there's no casting out publicly. There's no, uh, you know, of, of pirates and things like that. I mean, there are groups where, you know, certain pirate things are discussed, you know, like secret groups and stuff. But I for- I totally forgot where the question is in there, Hal. <laughs> I hope you were just following along for the ride. Uh, but but yeah, how do you it feel about, about it? about should pirates be accepted in the community? Well, but that's, yeah, that's, that, but, yeah. but that, that was what I meant. Like, how, how do you feel about that? Do you, do you feel that something along those lines would help? Or do you think that's that's pie in the sky idea? I mean, Cult, it could help the a little, is, but like, is what I was how, how do you catch the pirates, though? How do you catch the guys who, like, don't admit it? How do you, you catch the guys? You know, they're in incognito mode, and they're doing everything they can. Yeah, well, that, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, we, perhaps as an industry, we tolerate too much anonymity. 
You know what I mean? Like, I, and I, again, I don't want to get rid of people's piracy. I'm not one of these people that says we should have a camera in their bedroom, making sure they're not saying anything about overthrowing governments. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I would I'll never destroy the camera. Stick to, but, but what I'm saying is, is that like, perhaps like in an industry that's built around, you know, making tools for people to make money with, you know what I mean? Perhaps it's, you know, do you think, sorry, not, not, I'm, I'm not putting it, uh, this is just a suggestion. Would it be of worth uh, to make it a legitimate, like you can't be in the industry unless you can prove you're legitimate. Perhaps something along those lines. What do you think? Uh, like, like I wouldn't want to like throw myself out there and be like, I'm a guy behind a screen. That's who I want to be. I don't want to make the screen like transparent. You know what I mean? Right. Well, I mean, like, yeah, but you could say, for example, like you could have a, let's say a, th this is a stupid idea, but let's say that you had like a sample library license, right? And yeah. then when you had uh, a big production, in order to make mm -hmm. sure that their composer is legitimate, they have to have a license, you know, a sample library yeah. license. They have to have the, the compositional license. And this license, I don't know, has points on it. And if you ever get caught, you know, if your name ever shows up in one of the watermarks on a piracy site or something, you know, uh, you get you get points off your license. If ever you're, you know, you do something negative or you do something that's against, e, you know, the EULA, you get points on your license. If you lose your composer license, then... Uh, that way, a film company, a game developer can see that this composer is a bit of trouble to work with. You know what I mean? If they've got a clean composer license, you know that they're not pirating anything. You know that they're not doing anything dodgy. They're going to be a safe investment for you as a company. What do you think about something along those lines? It's a bit of a difficult question to ask because if I were to pirate a couple of libraries and then someone were to, came, were to come to me with a gig... How like how would they react to me pirating the software? Um, if they well, get good music, they get good music. Right, but they also That's have music. I but they, at the same time, they they now have music that they don't have license to play. Because if you didn't have the license in order to create the music with it then they don't have the license to use the sounds that you used in it. Like that's the problem with with uh, being careful when it comes to earning money with sample libraries. If you use a pirated library, let's say if I worked on a Hollywood movie and just just disclaimer, this has never happened and will never happen. But let's <laughs> say that I, if, if I was to work on a Hollywood movie with a pirated library, right? Yeah. And I, I wrote the score and that went into this big Hollywood movie. And then someone, the, the company found out that I pirated uh, their sample library all of all of the music i wrote using their sample they technically own any of the light it's like imagine if i took lady gaga's song and just put it in one of my songs right and then put that in a thing but i didn't have the license to do that you, you can see how that song would then belong to lady gaga right just because i put it in something else doesn't mean that that doesn't belong to her which means that that company doesn't own the license to use that lady gaga song or the sample library in our case and that means that lady gaga can sue the production and and she will win and the product guess who the production is going to get their money from guess who they're going to sue they're going to sue you like, that's what I'm saying. It's not, it's something that's not worth getting into. And that's what I was saying with like the, the composer license, perhaps when, uh, when you register, when you register a sample library, it goes on your composer license. And so when you apply for a job, they check your license and that way they know which libraries you're using. And if you're using one that isn't on your li uh, on your license, you know, it's worth investigating. Obviously, this is a shitty big brother idea, but do you not <laughs> think there's some value in some of these concepts? Yes, there is, but like, <laughs> again, it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult. Well, anyway, I feel like I've, is there anything, how you would like to add to the conversation before we move on? I apologize. I've spoken over most of your time, but you bring out the best conversations in me. <laughs> uh, is there anything I mean, you'd like to add? I like just, you know, put a bit of spice on a previous point, so to speak. Sure. About the uh, loan to lo ah, lo the fuck <laughs> rent to own thing rent to that own. you mentioned. Uh -huh. I mean, like if you were to buy a house and you didn't have the money for it, you would go to the bank, get a loan, and pay down that loan mm -hmm. after some time had gone by and you got the money. Yep. Why can't we do it with everything? Right. Why can't we do that with sample libraries as well? 
So like a, a credit plan for sample libraries. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I like obviously that that's something the developers would have to sell because then you sort of become a banking institution uh, institution because you're loaning out money. And I'm not quite sure how to set that up, but as a concept, not a bad one. I, I like it. So yeah. Hal, thank you so much for calling in again today. I, it's always a pleasure to hear you call in. You've always got a, a rather lively <laughs> attitude, which brings a certain something. So everybody in the chat room, please say uh -huh. thank you to Piano Halvard, who I completely just cut off then. So interesting points in that one, perhaps a composer license, perhaps uh, restricting. Maybe that's the way forward. We'll never know. But let's bring in our next caller. Oh, let's see if Simon, Simon Vickland, are you alive, sir? Can you hear us? Welcome to the live stream. I can. Hey, Simon, how's it going? I'm a big, I'm a big fan. I'm a fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, mate? You okay? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really good. Yeah. So, Simon, piracy. How is it affecting us? How do you think it's affecting our industry? Oh, sorry, I got. I just got to mute your. It's, this is making me insane when it's. I hear the echo of your voice from the stream. Sorry. sorry. That's okay. Yeah, I just like. I just want to unload some. Unload, opinions. Simon. Say it all. Uh, I'm going to be preaching to, to the choir here to completely because uh, we're on the same page. If the you choir is ready for your sermon. <laughs> if you created something, it's your God-given right to expect compensation for it. Right. I agree. Unless you've got some sort of monopoly or cartel, you know, set up going, I, it's absolutely your right. It's true for Hybrid 2. It's true uh -huh. for me when I sell my music on Bandcamp. Mm -hmm. It's true for Disney when they're making Marvel movies. It's true yep. for any, any size company. If they make something that consumers want and the consumers think that it's too expensive, then the only power the consumers have is to not buy it and hope that, that this incentivizes the seller to either reduce the price of the product or come up with other solutions like but, but subscription si or Simon, loan services. But Simon, I, I, as, as, as the, the, the thief, I, I have the option to just steal it. Yeah. I realize I, that, but that I'm, makes you a piece of shit. But, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like the, the, the only thing we have right it. now. You can't pirate it and justify that morally in any but, way. But that's There's the no, problem. That's no the problem. You, they do. That's the problem we have. They do. And that's the problem we need to solve. They, they, they steal it and then they justify it. And th the thing is, is they don't have to justify it to me because they've already stolen it. They just have to justify it to themselves, really. You know what I mean? If yeah. they're okay with the consequences of their actions, which unfortunately at the, at the minute is pretty light. You know what I mean? What's to stop them? Yeah, the bar is really low to, 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 to come up with the... I mean, uh, just just for example, like in our industry, I know that there, there has been... Um, so usually what happens is uh, people either band together, buy a copy, and then that copy is, you know, pirated by a team or someone in a foreign country with a credit card, you know, stolen or whatever, buys it and uploads it, things like that. Now, I, I know of quite a few examples now where some of these teams have been identified and, you know, there's legal action going. But what is there for developers? Like, what do, what do developers have in terms of weapons against piracy? Do they have when it comes to a kid who says, look, I just don't want to pay for it? There's, there's not much really there's not much and that is and that is the problem and so what do you that's, think we can do what, there's what do a you conundrum in the fact that what, as, as, as soon as you start working towards ensuring that people can't pirate it then consumers are going to be sort of more likely to pirate it because they they hate the dongles and the and the you know right well the, what if what if drms and stuff what do you think? What do you think of a concept like? Uh, what do you think of the concepts like rent to own and loan to own? You know, so we kind of yeah, accept those, those piracy as future. So we make an agreement with the pirates. Look, if you steal it, just buy it when you can. Yeah, yeah. Well, th that's completely up to the to the company though to make right. that no, decision. I agree. That's not up to the. The, the, it's never up to the individual. It's not up to the pirates to, to decide that fact. To for decide, people. like yeah. I want this is this is my. Um, you can't say this is my arrangement or this is my um, uh, consensus with with the the seller that I'm gonna pirate it now and that I'm gonna pay for it later when I can afford it. Do you, Do you think? I mean, yeah, go ahead. I wouldn't give anyone a hard time, really, if it's someone you know pirating stuff who's just starting out and they're. Not, not making money, money. You right. know, just to own their skills or something. That I wouldn't really call that person a 
<laughs> but what POS. about the, what about the fact? Let, let's say you bought. A if library. you're a composer and you want to make and you, or you are already making money, yeah, selling your music, be it you know as an artist on Bandcamp or for an indie game that your friends are making and they're going to make money and you're going to get paid for that. But would you? Or if but, it's a production music or whatever, then you do what you can with your limited resources. If you don't have the money, you make your own samples: acoustic guitar, finger snaps, no, no, whatever. Agree. I totally and you agree. make money with that music until you've saved up enough to buy, buy a heaviosity library and you can make your own epic music like you always wanted. Or you yeah. make do with the rent to own solutions that are available, subscriptions, free plugins and libraries that you can find. Or you ask for money up front from your client and buy some libraries with that money. You right. make an investment, be serious about your craft. You can't pirate. It's, it's just, you can't justify it. But... Uh, to a degree, and again, I'm not putting words in your mouth, you understood, you empathetically understood the person who's not going to make money with it, you know, just wants to have a play with it, and they pirate it. What? How, do, how would you feel, though, if you just purchased the library for a few hundred dollars, and the person, the person next to you who isn't planning to make money with it, but, you know, maybe they find a taste for it, you know, they've downloaded the same thing. Do you feel quite as empathetic when it's, you know, when it's right next to you, you know, like when you can see that you've just paid all this money for something someone just got for free. Do you still, do you still feel that empathy for that person? Uh, well, I wouldn't call it empathy. Even, even the, the, when I originally described it, I, I wouldn't say that I had empathy for them. I just wouldn't call them a piece of shit. P right. So you, you <laughs> think there's, just... So it's, piracy is a spectrum. I wouldn't give them a hard time when it's when it's like yeah. that. I, I mean, I wish everyone could afford it, but you know, it's it's a it's how the world works. You 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 want something, you pay what the seller or the creator charges for. So 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 you're suggesting a piracy? It's the market, uh, it's the market price. No, no, I I get that, but like what you just suggested was a piracy spectrum. So so who's the worst? Oh God, Cloud Jumper just donated. Sorry. That, thank you for the the four pounds forty seven. It just says today. Congrats. Thank you, Cloud Jumper. Um, oh, I completely he he, he busted my thought process. <laughs> I forgot where I was going with that. God damn it. Um, no, so that was it. The you piracy spectrum. spectrum. So who's the worst of the worst? Like who are the worst type? What's the worst pirate? Well, uh, in, uh, I mean, the more money you make, right from using the tools right. and you're not paying for the tools, then the, the worse you are really. So, so the, and I'm, the, and the I'm, people I've, who I've have made a lot means. of money making music, you know, and I charge enough money to be able to afford the right. tools I need to make the music that my clients are asking of me. Yeah. Well, you can't, yeah. you can't be involved in like an indie project that's not paying anything and they're expecting or you're, and you're expecting to make, you know, something that you need, you know, Oh, it needs to be, these huge strings and they need to be recorded in this huge hall and it has to be like heaviosity right. or it has to be spitfire or whatever you have to lower your standards you have to lower your expectations of what you can do with with the resources you have really i mean yeah to a certain that's degree probably this... gonna make, and that's probably going to make you make better music yeah and, and and the sample libraries that you own should be an indication of where you are in your library if you can afford the sample libraries that are recorded with the best engineers in the best studios then obviously you should be the ones to you know the be the people who have earned that right should be the ones using those not the the ones you know what i mean there's there's a, to a certain degree it always it always bothers me to to some degree that someone who's just starting is like recording with the the Spitfire or the Cine samples libraries <laughs> Do you yeah, know they what have I mean? everything and they and they don't value them Yes, don't exactly. The, you the, don't understand the value of what you're playing with. Like, and that's, exactly. that's, that's the problem with the devaluation is because like, if you think about how much money it would cost to record any soundtrack you've done in the past year, record all of the orchestral things in the places where they were recorded with the people they were <laughs> recorded with, you're looking yeah. at hundreds of thousands of dollars insane and, amounts of money. And they're literally just taking that for free and saying, well, you didn't lose anything. You didn't lose yeah, anything. You, and it's like you lost a potential customer. That's what you lost. Like you, there's, you don't have the right to, to take it. Like, and I, I appreciate. You make do with what you have. I appreciate the the efforts of Spitfire and Cine samples and orchestral tools to promote the value of these products. But I feel that that doesn't get through to pirates. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, no. to them, a a synthesizer patch preset pack is just as valuable as a full orchestral sample library recorded at Air Studios. Do you know what I mean? There's no intrinsic value difference between the two to them they're just sounds you know they're just sound panks 
Panks? Yeah, Pax? Yeah. Banks? <laughs> Panks was a mix Pax. between pa- Pax and Banks. <laughs> Panks. Word, nice. um, but yeah, so so how how do you think we can increase the perceptive value of sample libraries? How can we make them feel like, oh, this is worth buying? <laughs> I, I got to be honest, I, 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 I connected to the chat in order to just to be able to unload my, because I'm very passionate about this. I actually vo- I vote politically for right. parties in Sweden that are against, you know, work against piracy and stuff. There's a, there's a party in Sweden called the Pirate Party, and therefore like a total reform of the copyright laws. And they right. think it should be allowed to pirate things for private consumption, you know, that is not to not resell a and I'm make not, money I'm not a off it. Of I mean, like, yeah, it's, I think it's it's completely insane, uh, and and uh, they they're saying like, yeah, you should be able to pirate music because uh, the artists aren't making much money off of selling music anyway. Now it's live shows, and I'm like, but I'm an artist that doesn't make any live shows. All my all the money I make is from selling this stuff on Bandcamp. Yeah, how can I, you say I'm not allowed to make any money off of that anymore? And that goes back to the uh, what we were saying about like the individuals. You know, the individual people they don't understand. It's like a cultural. They don't understand what it means to pirate from someone. So, for example, my uh, my project Alpha Bravo Charlie libraries when we sold them the sales did this they went they peaked up on the first day then they kind of plateaued and then like literally you could see the day it gets pirated because it just dips down <laughs> and just heads yeah. downwards and people stop buying it um you know because it's easier to get to make you know i i, I think it's, it's and i don't think that's a coincidence you know um, but no, people no, don't no. see this they 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 think oh it's okay i'm you know no, i'm not going to buy this library anyway i'll just download it download it and then everybody just thinks well you know it's expensive so i probably wouldn't but then everybody just owns it anyway <laughs> you know it's like yeah but i didn't know because everyone owns it and then now it's like common and, and now there's less value in people buying exactly. it because they hear it everywhere that's the problem with exactly. our library is it's yeah. very you're, you're losing you you've lost all the customers that pirated it or most of them because yep. most of them are not going to be you know uh, abiding by the honor <laughs> arrangement the honor system, and, yep. and, and and yeah the honor system and and um, pay for it later on so you lost th- most of those customers and you're also l- losing more potential new customers because they think that the 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 the, um, the library is too common and they hear it everywhere and they want to look for something else yeah, yeah but and- uh, back to your question uh, I just wanted to say that I, I only came here to, to unload. You, you just came because I have some strong opinions. Now. I have very strong opinions on this uh, in this topic, but I don't have any solutions because I think that a lot of people who pirate are just well. No, that's absolutely beyond, fine. I'm, I'm interested help. to just hear points of view as well. Like I, again, I'm I'm more just floating ideas to you know floating out little uh, hooks of ideas to see yeah. if anybody has any ideas. You know, I, de- I definitely do think that you know rent to own and and subscription services are good for 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 uh, you know to lower the bar of entry for people who want to make the music. Yeah. So that, developers you know, could be doing more. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's, it is a problem that um, you can't. I mean, a lot of effect plugins you can you can you can have demos of them because it's so yeah. easy to download because it's just a, an algorithm that just processes the signal. But yeah. sample libraries are like you know. 20 gigabytes of data you can't have everyone who wants to test it out download 20 gigabytes of data from your server you're i mean you're going to be paying through the nose yeah <laughs> so, uh, so know, perhaps for, 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 for the data uh, or for your servers you know uh, internet yeah. services and stuff like that alone it's it's crazy to, to allow people to download all that stuff yeah uh, so, so it doesn't it wouldn't work with with uh, with uh, you have to charge something you know uh, yeah. But I do think that rent to own and subscription service is a good thing. I do think that there's a lot of you know, people who, who just you know, back off as soon as as, as as the seller is asking for money whatsoever. So it doesn't matter if it's cheaper. It doesn't matter how cheap it is. If it's money, they think that they're making it. That they're making a what do you call it? Like, um, that is like like a good deal for them. If right. if 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 they can find a way to get it for free. Right, right, and right. justify it in their own mind that they they got it for free, even if it's cheap or if it's except, uh, expensive, they got it for free, and they think that that's a good thing. Right. Uh, so those people are not going to be pay, paying for anything because if they can get it for free, that's their mindset. You know, they can, they, they get it for free. So yeah. So perhaps I just wanted to call. I just to... wanted to call in, quote unquote, call 
and no. say that those piece, p- p- people are pieces of shit. That's really no, no, all I wanted to you're say. You're more than you're more than. But before you go, like, do you think as an industry we just need to be more realistic? We just need to accept that piracy is a thing and come up with oh, yeah, mo- modern problems, yeah, modern I'm, solutions. Like, so yeah, we I, can't I, we can't just be. Well, I'm not changing. Because, oh Jesus! Scared the shit out of me. Sorry, that was a huge <laughs> donation. Oh God. That, that actually terrified me. I was like, I need to turn that down. And now I'm moving all the graphics out of the way. Oh, thank you so much for the donation. It genuinely scared me. Um, I need to turn my speakers down. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, we need to be realistic. realistic. I, what I'm, I'm saying is, uh, I, was, I just want to say this. I don't believe that we're going to get rid of piracy. That would be very naive to Yeah, to it, well, that, that's, so, that's what yeah. I'm saying. So it, 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 developers, as developers, we need to stop going, oh, piracy's shit, fuck them. You know what I mean? We need to be like, well, okay, these guys are going to be assholes regardless. <laughs> you know, they're going to take it anyway. So how can we at least convince them that it's worth paying for over time? Worth paying for, you know, eventually worth paying for you know what i mean like there's there's so many and like you said like i don't have the solutions yet either this is such a an issue but you but you do agree with me that it is a problem yeah it is yeah. a problem yeah. well anyway i do you feel like you've 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 unloaded satisfactorily simon i do i do i i saw this comment in the in the uh, i mean um someone made a comment in the uh in the chat that yeah. uh, the rock once pirated HBO, and then now he's making, a sh- you know, shows with HBO and sort of paying back that way. And so yeah. not everyone is a piece of shit, and that's true. But it's not up to the inv- individual to decide. Like I'm going to pirate this now, yeah. and then I'm going to pay it back later when I'm successful. Well, that's maybe, not up to you to decide. Maybe it's worth mentioning, you know, because we we are both successful-ish composers in our right. I said ish because of me, not because of you. Um, well, well. But do do you yeah, feel well, do you feel it's actually beneficial? for people getting into our industry because there will be people watching this you know who who are pirating libraries you know because when you see piracy you're always like oh shit what are people saying about pirate <laughs> like the game just, awards winner yeah well you know it was it, was, <laughs> it wasn't all me literally so um but what i'm saying is is perhaps it's worth hearing from people like you and me like when we say to them you know just please try not to pirate you know because it does it drags everything down it may s- so, not seem like yeah. you're you're having any effect but you do like because because a lot of people pirated like out my my personal sample libraries uh you know like we saw the physic we saw the cliff drop off afterwards you know because mm. people stopped buying it because they could get it for free that affects me thank you for the donation kev Oh God, I'm American now. Piracy will always be the, I, I'm going to have to read that in a second because everything's cut off. Uh, and again, every, oh, I need to turn donations off because <laughs> I keep losing my train of thought. But yeah, hearing from us, like just please don't, please don't because even though it may not feel like you're having an effect, when you, when you like our industry is so small, the composing industry, be it creators, composers, mixers, engineers, it's a very yeah. small industry. And if you pirate yeah. off of one of, like if you have any, if you ever want to be a musician at any level, you want to be a mixer, you want to be, you know, you just want to work in this industry, try not to pirate because it, you know what I mean? It may not seem like you're having an effect, but it's like when you move that one rock on like, yeah, it's very short sighted. It's going to, yeah, it's going to, it's going to make the it landslide easy for you to happens. make music. Yeah. Bec- and, and it's also just it, in pirating and putting that extra little number one in the download on the torrent site makes the person who, who's putting that up feel like yeah it's an endorphin thing it's like the same reason you like it when you get a thumbs up on a on a facebook post or a heart on an instagram we're we're programmed to get little is it dopamine endorphins one of those you know we get a little shot of good feeling whenever we get one of those and that's what happens with torrent sites as well you know if you torrent, they get a notification that someone else has downloaded. It makes them feel good. They feel like they're doing the great justice, you know, that these great big developers, you know, who are taking all the money. And it's like, dude, we just, we, we need, we need that money in order to keep making them. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, it's very, it's very short-sighted. And, it, yeah. and uh, yeah, it, it's also, it's always that uh, defense that it's like, it's, if it's music, it's about the biggest bands and they're making you know so much money off of merchandise and and the and the tours and everything and if it's movies it's about the biggest stars that making you know tom cruise that gets to pay too much money already for for making a movie and and you know it's always these huge those are the examples 
that people use to justify, you know, pirating because yeah. they're already making so much money. Yeah, yeah, but there's a huge part of the industry that are just, you know, low-level people, and you're saying that it's okay to pirate everything. Hmm. Really, you're yeah. not you're not Robin Hood here. You know, yeah, we only need to, from we rich. need people to understand that there's different tiers to piracy. Like, <laughs> I feel like even though that's almost an unethical thing to say, I feel like there's some things that are more egregious to pirate than others you know like if you're if you let's say for example you steal avengers endgame right that's yeah. that's obviously don't pirate anything that's going to hurt someone along the line but the bite or the bee sting of that won't be felt quite as much as if you yeah, steal exactly yeah you're not going to make you, a dent you steal a song from this artist who only has one song, <laughs> you know, like yeah, exactly. they put out their first single and instead of pay them the 90 cents, you steal it. That's they're actually going to feel that 90 cents more than I think the big companies will like. So I, th oh, yeah. I do you Definitely, feel that? Yeah. So perhaps there's a spectrum to piracy. Well, as I, as I started out saying, uh, you know, any, any size. It's true about hybrid too. It's true about me. You know, when I sell music on Bandcamp, it's true with, with, with Marvel and then Disney. And, you know, if you don't make, if you don't have the money to pay and see the latest Marvel movie, guess what? You're not going to be part of the latest, you know, the discussion yeah. when everyone else is talking about it at work or at school, or whatever. Well, Tough luck. You're going to miss work. out. <laughs> is that's how it should work. Yeah. Yeah. It's never your right to consume something. Yes. Like that, that if is something I, can, I if hear I a lot. It's my right to 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 get it for free. It's we do right. somewhat live in it. Marvel in, has in, made something you want, and then they have the right to charge you money for it. Right, it's yeah. only that's it's only your right to yeah. pass on it. Yeah, well, but, exactly. Uh, yeah, that's that's just how I my view on it. And and, and uh, yeah, there is a certain degree of entitlement. We're circling back here because <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, it's no, really no, all I, I have. I agree, to say. but you, you there's did... no way to to people are going to justify piracy anyway. And as you said, yeah, we're gonna. Um, it, it's good to hear from the developers and it's to, good to hear from the smaller, you know, people yeah. of the industry and hear that they're actually hurt by piracy. Yeah. But that's only going to turn, so, uh, you know, so many people. There's like still going to be these people who think that they're making a good, you know, they get yeah, the no, dopamine. No, 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 I, I get you. you know, I, but like, that's what you said. Like, they, they feel a certain degree of entitlement. That was the word I wanted to get out there is that, yeah. like, like you mentioned, why? Why do you think they feel ownership or that, they, over or that they're cheating the system? Like everyone else is paying for it, and they're suckers for doing it. I find it online for free, and that makes me, but, you know, but like you, I'm balling. Yeah, but but you, that's what I'm saying. I th I think you actually hit the nail on the head with the the entitlement. Why do you think people actually feel that they own? You know what I mean? Like they they have the right. You know what I mean? This content I have the right to. Like so, if you can't afford to go see Endgame, that you know for a fact there are people who feel that no, I have the right to see this. Or when like when a TV show isn't shown in a country, you know, and everybody wants to see it. Wait, like, can I intervene feel that, to this? Wait, Kev, Kev, no, Kev, you wait your turn. <laughs> You wait your turn, Kev. What? If if he felt it felt like he he, he really have have you and I been talking for too long? I feel like Kev Kev has a certain sense of entitlement to the chat. <laughs> I'm joking. I'll bring him in in a second. Simon, is there anything else you'd like to add? I Not really. You. I've, I, I've had I, you locked in for so long. I apologize. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I apologize for stealing everyone's time. No, I just what? wanted to say that if you pirate, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, please say a big thank you to Simon, to Simon. Okay. Kev, I apologize. Okay. No, no, I, I, I want Simon in here people. too. <laughs> no, I want Simon during this conversation too, because you got you guys are are of uh, of like minded industries, and you have a, a basically your your same class. So I want to kind of argue with both of you. you what? You I want to argue, argue with you and Simon because the, the what you just said is uh, an opinion that people of like higher stature take, people who don't understand Ooh. how it is at the consumer level. Okay, tell me how it is at the consumer level. Okay, so. In any market, you have a product, right? Right. Okay, and you you get you basically sell your product or your services. Yep. In your case, you are selling music. In any industry, you basically anytime you give away your product, you're you're not just losing out on the product, but you're also giving away the opportunity for someone to judge your product. So the idea is that if like let's say um, I sell lemonade mm -hmm. and my, in the very beginning, I understand that I'm going to take a loss regardless. So I'm going to give away lemonade to, to like the first 10 people and they're going to be like, oh, yeah, this product's really good. So what do I gain from that, Dan? 
You 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 gain ten people that have lemonade. <laughs> that you gain ten people that enjoy, who understand that your lemonade is very good, and right. they'll spread their opinion on the internet, and they, they'll share it with everybody, right? But that you, the way you're framing that, that's still my choice as the lemonade stand. Like I still choose the, that those ten people get to enjoy this for free, and they can share that around. Okay, I don't but think. I don't think it's it like if, if people walked up to my lemonade stand, poured themselves a lemonade and went, yeah, fuck yeah, I'll tell everyone about this, but didn't give me money for it. I'd be like, shit, you just stole my lemonade. Like, OK, and in the in the stance you can take from this and you can pro you can argue with me on this point is someone said in chat working for exposure. So a lot of like artists in 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 a lot of industries are told, hey, make me this, but you'll get exposure. Right. right? And, and from. And from their point of view, it's it's really, really bad because obviously they're not making money, but they do have to realize, and we've, we've talked about this before, at any point in life, experience is is, is of equal amount of, if, if not more value than getting a short return, I, right? I, no, I, I understand. I understand the exposure thing and, and I'm okay with it in certain, like I, I think sometimes people abuse the work for exposure thing. You know what I mean? Like they should be paying them money, but they just don't yeah. want to and they're like exposure. But that is, that is still compensation. So I provide a service and if I think that the exposure that you're offering is worth the amount of work I have to put in in the long term, fine that's that's a trade that that is how the system works like when we talk about piracy what we usually end up talking about is the people who feel justified in stealing something because they didn't take uh say a physical copy like you'll hear this a lot and we mentioned this earlier what people will say is well i didn't take the item off you i just copied the item like i i'm just an aside i'm just shaving something off the edge you don't lose anything and in this situation i am losing something because in that transaction i didn't get anything not even exposure and like I get like it's my item. Okay. I get to decide what my compensation is. The way is. the way you're 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 um, kind of explaining it to me is yeah. you're explaining uh, to me that someone has taken your idea or product and claimed it as their own. That, no, no, that's so what you're I'm, making I'm it sound to me. I'm talking about actual products here. Uh, like, yeah, that's so, what I, that's what I mean. So let, let, let's put it in more physical terms, then, right? Okay. Um, sure. Let, let, what's something that people claim as their own? Like, let's let's. Well, how about jewelry, right? Okay. So jewelry is very common for people for like a, a jeweler to make like a perfect diamond. Someone buys it and then turns it around and says, oh, I made this, this is my piece. And then they put it onto whatever they were making, right? Like right. they cut a diamond perfectly. This is a very niche example because no other place is, this is common. But okay. um, you have, let's say you make your masterpiece, right? You, and you have, you made 10 of them, limited right. edition. Mm -hmm. But somehow um, one of them, the guy tells you, oh, I'll pay you later. And he takes the piece and he gives it and he says, this is a really nice cut diamond. He puts it in a ring and he sells it for double. You lost, man, the guy doesn't ever want to pay you because he's like, well, screw you. That doesn't, ra that rarely happens. And, and this example isn't very, this is kind of the example you're kind of giving me. And so, it's, it's not work the same way in the digital age, but go no, ahead. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, in the digital age, okay, so let's say I have a sample library, right, which is a tool. Think of it like a digital hammer that you use to make money with, right? In fact, don't think of it as anything. It's just a thing, right? And then mm -hmm. because people can copy it, they feel like the copy uh, isn't, like I don't lose anything. If they copy my my product without buying it, you know, they literally just make a copy of it. That's not stealing because I can still steal the, the copy I have. And what I, my, my argument to that is, is in our industry, it's not the product itself you're buying. You're buying the right to use it, right? It's a license thing. And the same yeah, yeah. a lot of the time with music. So the, in that transaction, my compensation is should be defined by me. You don't define my compensation as uh, exposure. Like you can't, again, using your analogy of the lemonade stand, I can't walk up to a lemonade stand, pour myself a lemonade, drink it, and then say, I'll tell all my friends. Like that's not how it works. Like, so when, when someone, when someone downloads my library, they're taking the money that they owe me out of my pocket okay. because they have the thing. And in order to have the thing, the transactional compensation is you pay me money in order to use that. And if you use it without, then, uh, then you don't have permission to use it. And if you use it in a, in a film or something, I, I'm within my rights because technically I still own it. So, yeah, yeah. And, and the best way to explain uh, sample libraries, just for those who don't, because I know, Kev, you're not fully in the, in the music world. So like, I well, apologize I mean, if I'm no, talking for, for in the way, oh, yeah, that, That's fine. It's but, like using uh, Lady Gaga's song. It's like if... Okay, yeah, yeah, there yeah. you go. 
if someone used a Lady Gaga song in their song without the license to do so and then put it in a movie, Lady Gaga could then sue the movie because the composer they, they and them it without, yeah. don't, they, they ha- yeah, the they don't have the license to use it, yeah. right? Yeah, I get that. Yeah. And, that, and that's what I'm saying. So it's risky for composers in the first place. But like, we're going back to the thing. Like, I, I felt like you were trying to say there was a justification for it. And I'm talking from no, like, no, no, the no, no. Okay. perspective. Here's, here's, the, here's, here's the, the perspective I'm taking. This is a perspective a lot of people will take. If sure. someone is, is pirating your product, it isn't mm-hmm. because they, they feel like they're entitled to the product. It's right. most of the time it's because it's a lot, it's a lot like most of your viewers who are trying to use the product because they're trying to learn from it. They're trying to use it because right. they don't have enough money to afford it. Everyone who basically, I mean, that's not fair to say either. But we have but, educational discounts. Yeah, yeah. It, but it's not generally enough, right? If you're if you're working a part-time job and you're going to school, right. you're rarely going to be able to afford a sample library. I remember, what did you say? Project Chaos was like $500, right? Uh, no, it's 200 and some, 249 I think. Yeah, and I, do, do you do you think that, well, with an educational discount, how much is it, do you think? Oh, I, in fact, we don't do educational discounts. I'm, I'm a oh, bit of an arse, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not trying I, to expose I don't know you, if but... we do. I need to ask Aaron. I feel like we might. Just ask us. You, sh- you should, right? Because it but, helps you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just a bit of a dick with it. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> but like, also you have to remember that sample libraries aren't just uh, con- consumable products. They're a thing that you use to make money with. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, um... I think that the most of the people who are going to pirate your product shouldn't be able to. I, I agree with you on that point. They shouldn't have. They shouldn't be able to make money off of your product. Right. And then, then that's the issue, right? When um, it's fine when people are like listening to a song, right? When right. like let's say Green Day produces a nice, or or even Simon produces a song in Payday, and people really like it, but they don't want to pay. Um, was it what they called? Uh, what's the company called for Payday? I can't remember. But they they pay. They don't pay the company to listen to the song outside the game. But they bought the game, right? And and they really enjoy it, but they don't want to pay like whatever the dollar. Is that you think it's wrong? So, for so you feel like they that? already own the content; they shouldn't have to pay for it again. No, I don't believe that at all. What I'm oh. saying is, these people are trying to enjoy enjoy the music, and they're yeah. they and they have invested themselves into Simon's you know work, and they're like, well, I just want to listen to it. There's no harm done, and most of the time, if they really do enjoy it, they're gonna pay for it, right? They're not gonna go out of their well, way to go torrent it. You would hope. No, I, 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 <laughs> I, I have enough faith in the human race to say that um, people would, right? I would personally, and I think a lot of uh, you can ask your chat, right? I think a you're lot an of optimist these... there, I, like. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I agree definitely with that. know of some pirates that that just will never buy. No, things. no, no. I, I, I do know of plenty of people who would say, "Screw the creator, it's mine. I want to listen to it because right. it's out there. I, we, I have the right to." But, but you see, in that regard, we already have solutions. We realized that people were not going to pay for music, so we let them. That, that's where streaming services came in, you know. Like, so at least then we're making. I still think there's a long way to go. I don't think artists are getting what they deserve, for, particularly from places like YouTube, but. You know what I mean? Like we came up with a solution to that justification. The justification was, I want to enjoy this, but I don't want to buy it again. So we have streaming services. That way you can listen to it outside, but the artist still gets something. But that, yeah. that, that's my problem. Like there's still too many, ju- like it feels like a whack-a-mole. Every time we come up with a solution for a reason people pirate, they tend to fall back on something else or they move then, the goalposts. Then, well, then, I wasn't okay. going to pay for it anyway. Well, well I mean, this, this, is a, this is something that's already come up a thousand times in the music industry. And the people who have the best solution for it are the people who don't even like put a solution for it, which are people who say, you know what, screw it. We have our Bandcamp. We have our iTunes. Um, mm-hmm. This is our new album. I forgot what band did this, but they they said, and we even uploaded it on a torrent. If you like our product enough, you'll pay for it. But if you if you just don't want to listen to it, you're a hardcore fan and you really can't afford the twenty bucks to buy our album. Screw it. We put it. We even put it on a torrent for you to enjoy. That 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 to me. See, I I understand. I understand the market value. You know, the marketing value behind doing something like. That. But as a business move, I feel that that's actually quite a poor decision because if you if you say if you explicitly say it's okay to not pay for this, then that takes that takes a lot of the moral or ethical obligation off of the person. You okay, know what I mean? then, well, if you then, say uh, it's okay for me to have it for free, why would okay. I pay? How about how about um, I'm shoot, playing a bit. I don't want to. I don't want to. Twi- I don't want to twist it. I don't want to twist you in a bad position. But um, in in that situation, Sorry, I would. A lot of people would agree bit. with me when they say that uh, that 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 band. What they're trying to do is basically be be morally good, right? Be say say right. that they appreciate well, their a, fans. It's a PR stunt. Willing- it's a PR stunt. It's saying pirates. No. We accept you too. That's what well, they're I'm, trying to do. 
yeah, and they're trying and they're trying to tell them, you know what, if if you do really enjoy us, pay for it, right? Right. Which most of yeah. them won't. If if but but that's what I'm saying. No, yeah, it, I, I, but, no, I understand. I understand that that yes, some people will pay. But what I'm saying is, is if you say it's okay, it's okay to pirate this. You know, please pay us something. What you so look at it this way: if you have to pay for something, the people who eth, who have ethics and morals, you know, like people who want to you know do things properly, they will buy the legitimate version regardless, and the pirates will buy the pirated stuff and probably not cross over. If you say it's okay to torrent this, but please buy it, some of those people who were only you know some of these people who have morals and ethics who pay for it, right? They they pay for it because they have to. If you tell them they don't have to pay for it. Like and it's okay. Please give us some money. They, you're gonna have more people who were gonna pay for it get it for free because no, I, I morally, disagree with that it's completely. Okay. I, I could disagree with that completely. I I I, I, I doubt if, if someone took the moral judgment to say, well, it feels like stealing if I torrent it. If but someone now tells me I'm allowed to have something for free, I will consider that as a legitimate option, and I will okay. not feel bad at all because they okay, said okay. it was how about, okay. How about this? How about this? If if you have a sample library that yep. a company gave you to review, right? And they're right. like, okay, um, you know what? We changed our mind. We're not going to give it to you. And, you know, they're like, well, actually, this is what's happening right now, right? Where they're telling people they can't give you review copies because, you know, they don't like them. Right. But And let's say someone does that. They say, screw it. I don't like you. Don't. Okay. We're not going to give you the library. Um, yep. You're going to have to pay for it yourself. Yep. And do you now feel like it, you're um, morally allowed to pirate that? No. No? Okay. No. Then let's say they instead do the opposite, right? They're like, they normally tell people they're going to pay for it, or um, but now they're saying that because you're a really nice guy and they appreciate their audience. They're going to allow, they're going to allow everyone to have it for free, but they'll, they'll tell people, you know what? You know, we're trying really hard. It's really, it's hard out there for us. Please, um, if you can't afford it, pay the pay the amount. Right. Should I tell you what would happen? Most people would just download it for free. You think so? I, I genuinely do. I think if okay. you give people the option to get something for free, most people will get it for free. They may not brag about it. They may feel they may actually feel kind of bad about it. Like maybe I should give them some money. I think what most people in our industry will probably do is they will probably download it for free, and if they used it, pay some money, which I think is a legitimate way to do it. But at the same time. That's not really the best business strategy. Like, it's not the best long-term business. Oh no, no, strategy. no! I, I don't, I don't, I, I agree with you fully. But I, but the, the, what I'm trying to do is take you away from the conversation of basically stopping people from pirating because what's happened in every industry is the more uh, companies try to fight pirating, the more money they waste. Right. On on trying well, to find no, a solution for it, and they lose money in the end than they would gain if they just never bothered. No, no, I I agree. I I, I think it's I. I can see what you're trying to say, but to me, I, I still think it's a serious problem, but we don't have a good answer for it yet. Like, I feel like streaming was the best possible outcome for people not paying for music anymore. You know what I mean? Because that takes all of the onus off of the listener. But, and, yeah. and that's all like, and, and to your description, like if you give p people the option to get things for free, you know, would they pay money? Th look at streaming, you know, like I, I don't really buy albums anymore. I stream everything, you know, like, and I, so they get a little bit of money, but if you give me the option to just stream shit that I want to listen to, I'll take that option. You know, if, if, if it's legally, ethically, and morally okay to do so, that's what I'll do. And okay. If, so, so, so for you, if you tell me it's were... okay to get it for free. Yeah, yeah. And that's so what I'm saying. Let's... That's why I struggle with the loan thing. Because if I say to people, oh, it's okay to pirate our libraries just so long as you pay for it, then you have a lot of people who might, you know, be ready to buy it, just download it for free. And no, then, and I I think that's 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 a very like, and that's why we can't say it's okay. Place. Yeah, that's but, why for me that's a very like yeah, it's a weird, a, a it's a tricky, a moral tricky yeah. Because you're saying you're loaning it to them as opposed to saying it. Look, just enjoy it if you like. If you really like it, just you know give us money. But you see, the the problem with that is is it's then devalued the product for the people who want to buy it, because more people have it. The more common a sound is in our industry, the more. Uh, the the less value it has has in the industry. There's certain, okay, like and, the and, Wilhelm and, scream. Yeah. Like you couldn't pay, <laughs> you couldn't pay anybody for a Wilhelm scream anymore because <laughs> it's just everywhere. You know, it's a yeah, cliche. It's uh, and, and that's what I'm saying. So like, if 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 people like if someone downloads a sample library, and like all of these fan trailers, you know, like oh, I'm only doing it for a hobby. I'm not making money. But then uh, like. Let's just make a stupid number, like a million people download this sound and they all use that same bram, that same bram sound, right? 
Why, mm. why would anybody pay for that sound? You know, people are just putting their own songs up for free. You know, you're not paying for this song. I'm just doing it as a hobby, but there's a million songs that has that brand. Why would anybody pay money for it? You know, because it's, yeah, and I, it's and I can understand that. And devalued. someone brought up two good points. I guess two good points are going to be made right now. But one, obviously, um, we're, we're talking about digital products, not physical. So right. you technically don't lose money every time someone downloads it. Well, technically, but, I do. But but it is it is, and I will I will agree with you on this point. It is opportunity cost because something is readily available for someone else. And they were put through a gate. Obviously, go, going around the gate is a lot better for them. Right. Right. And the second point is, um, but they have people who um, people who use these products and they're give, and they're given to them for free, but they're not given rights to it. Uh, that's completely different, right? These people, if people are making money off a product that is intended to make money and it's a license, and people are pirating it and and, it's uh, risky for the composer. That's yeah, it's it's risky for them because yeah, they can get sued and the company can get all their money back, right? I think I think it's more I think it's more worrying that like your production gets sued because that's career done. You know, like if if you pirate something and then it goes into a, something bigger, you know what I mean? Like that production is then liable for your fuck up. And so imagine imagine you work on a Hollywood movie. You know, like I don't know a Tom Cruise fronted action movie with Steven Spielberg. Right. And then they come and ask you to score their movie, but you're using a dodgy, dodgy bit of software. You use it and then that that production gets sued because of you. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine what that would do to your career? Yeah. So the company tries to find out if you have a license and then they check in. They're like, well, you're using our music illegally. And then they take a cut of all the money. Yeah, they would never want you again. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But like, it's, that, it's and don't get me wrong, Kev. I am I am very I'm very open to hearing the other points of view. You know, obviously, like like I say, I grew up I grew up in an era when piracy was just normal. D do you know what I mean? Like, and oh, I no, had no, to, yeah, I had I to pull too, myself right? out of like I think every, I think a lot of kids do, and I actually think that's terrible and something we need to change. Is you grow up thinking it's culturally okay to just download things because you can. You know what I mean? Like, there's no policeman well, well, stopping I mean, you when um, you click the th download there's button. Something, there's a modern problem, funny enough, where a lot of people, and, and Game of Thrones is the, the best example of it, where I have an HBO um, subscription, mm -hmm. but for me, it's easier just to pirate Game of Thrones episodes because I don't oh, okay. want to put in all my login information. Oh, okay. Well, you yeah, see, that, and, that's an interesting ethical question because then is it yeah. is it okay then? is is it <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like... So say, for example, uh, you pay for HBO in the US, but HBO doesn't exist in the UK and you're in the UK and can't see the shows that you pay for in the US. Are you then justified to watch those shows in the UK? You know what I mean? Because technically that is piracy. They don't provide yeah, it for yeah. you there. They don't provide it for them. And that's like, that's against licensing rights. It's against licensing. But at the same time, you've also paid the hard cash. That's why I said piracy is a spectrum. You know what I mean? There's certain types of piracy, which I think most people look at and go, whatever. You know what I mean? And then there's other ones where it's like, really? Really? You're going to steal that that thing from that person? Really? You know? I think like like stealing a, a sample library that's made for charity. I saw that there was a, a, a composer <laughs> called Mick Gordon who made a, a dubstep sample library for charity and it mm -hmm. got pirated. And I'm like, you know what I mean? That's, that's really that's screwed kind up. Of, that, that's a moral bad. Yeah, it's morally bad. That's that an egregious. Matter. That's an egregious. Yeah, no, that's very bad. I saw um, Simon rejoined us here. Yeah, I put him in here. Um, real quick, I'll address this, and then we'll we'll get some, some some of Simon points. But in chat, someone said, um, "Why don't uh, li sample libraries just make a free version and then make like a premium version where people would pay for it?" What do you guys think of that? Uh, yeah, I, I th this is what I think about that. <clears throat> people who are able to justify piracy for themselves, for their own, you know, whatever moral. Uh, wherever they have their more Am ambiguity bar. yeah exactly where the bar is for them personally uh they're going to look at this and say okay i can either you know do this the legal way and and just get the free version and be part of the group of people who only have the free version and then i'm going to be a composer that can only do the stuff that you can do with the free version or i can pirate it and i can actually be on you know, on level with with uh, Daniel James or whoever else has Squad the level. actual, you know, <laughs> yeah, the the premium version of the, yeah, exactly. The you, you're act, you're dividing you're dividing the craft or the the business into two tiers here, 
the people who have the free version and people who can afford the the um, more expensive. I'll, I'll make expensive a, version. Yeah, I'll make an example of this though. Um, this actually does exist with Photoshop. Photoshop has a free version, which is just a free license they give away, and then they have their obviously premium version, which is the has more tools and all that. Right. And that platform has been, you know, everyone knows everyone basically pirates Photoshop at this point, right? It's it's a really bad thing, but well, studios are the care. only thing that license. Yeah. I had to move away. I, I ended up going with Affinity Photo, which is kind of the same thing, I guess. Is um, that that's not piracy? Buying the competition isn't piracy. Just putting that out there. That's <laughs> no, that, that's that, a that good doesn't thing. fall into the into the same thing. Oh yeah, no, that's a good thing. <laughs> what what was what was the question from chat again, Kev? You you phrased it as a question. I forgot what it was. Oh, I was saying, what do you guys? What do you guys? Do you guys think that um, in this industry it would be good to have a free version and then have a premium? Oh, yeah, the free version. version. Well, the, the the problem with the free version is is yes, it may make people want it, but I feel like you know it, it doesn't change the piracy problem. You know, the people who would would have bought it anyway are still going to buy it, and the people, <laughs> you know, what I mean, I don't think a free version has enough to negate the full version. You know what I mean? It's just a taster, so I don't think it actually deals with the piracy problem at all because no, I don't think no. anyone genuinely pirates something to try. I, okay, maybe they will. Um, I, I actually think any time I've ever pirated anything, it's to try it. Yeah, uh, I, I, I take that back. As I said it, I realized I was incorrect. Like, yes, people pirate things to try it, but I don't think you get enough. You know what I mean? Like, I don't. I still, I still feel like the people who would have bought it are gonna buy it anyway. I, I think that. Um, and the people who were gonna pirate I, are gonna pirate. I think it it's anyway. a good idea though, because the way if you think about it, let, you're 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 a big, big composer, right? And you do reviews of libraries. Let, let's say someone gives you like a free version, but they tell you, well, you can't produce any music with it and release it for money. You can right. use it for nonprofit. Right. But then I, um, yeah, that, I mean, if I used honor, it, then I would. That's buy it. the honor code again. It's, well, no, that, that obviously these companies can probably be like, okay, every time someone releases a piece of their music for money, they're going to obviously try to like look up the license, right? I mean, that, that's, that's I a little different. I mean, with, with review copies, there's, there is sort of a transaction there. And that's not just me. That's any industry, any anything, you know, like companies send the trial version so that people do the review. Like that's, a, that's like a, a trade uh, exposure for... Uh, you know the the library, so it it be it would be odd for them to say, okay, you can only do this for the video, because the the kind of compensation in order for doing the video is the the is thing the itself library. is the thing itself. So like like a video game reviewer gets a copy of that game, you know, they don't just get to review it and then it disappears. You know, well, I mean, like, th there, that that actually does kind of happen. Oh, now does that happen now? Yeah, like, I, th that I feel that that's more. a bad way. I feel that like that transaction is fair. But I mean, uh, like if, if that was the case, then I, you know, for me personally, I, I probably either wouldn't do it. I mean, if it was a library I really wanted, you know, maybe I would, and then I would just buy it anyway. But like then, if that was the, if I ended up having to buy it anyway, I would just buy it anyway. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Uh, like, someone said free full versions of advertising is a win-win, and I think most people here would agree that free probably full not versions. true. Yeah, that, yeah, that no, wouldn't I, work. I mean, that it'd be great work, for advertising, you but like then what you'd have uh, nothing to sell. <laughs> you, you, you would, yeah, yeah. You would never, never sell anything. And not only that, but the advertising will never earn you enough money to to make up for what the product's yeah, worth, especially I mean, if it's a sample library. That, that's the funny thing. People think that like stuff like YouTube and all that kind of makes, it doesn't make a lot of money. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I definitely agree. I think that um, if you're listening to music on YouTube and you listen mm. to the music once, it's fine. But if you like listen to it constantly, then might as well just buy the, the album right yeah so the, the the person who made the music actually earns what they're supposed to be earning instead of kind of letting everyone sample their music well that that's like this is this is going to be a topic for i think another another call-in show like with youtube and their their claims the biggest thing well, at the minute is is yeah. we need uh we need what, what's the word we need uh, proportional claiming on youtube right now for example if you use youtube I, it was uh, i did a stream a few days ago where i used a cover that i did of a song but the, it recognized that the song that I'd used was a cover, even though it was only five seconds in a three hour video. But that allowed the company who owned the song that I did a cover of that, pl that I played for five seconds. They then had ownership of the entire three hours because of the five seconds. They, they need to work out a way where they can only claim those five seconds. Do you know what I mean? I feel like yeah, that yeah. would actually be very beneficial to musicians as well, because then it would actually be in our interest for people to use our music. You know, like it would be a completely new avenue yeah. for 
Because then what you could uh, say is you could I'm say, wondering, okay, you, I'm wondering you, about all these, all those uh, like um, Instagram personalities that mm-hmm. have music in their, uh, you know, the little videos yeah. that they put up on Instagram. Do they actually, do the artists actually get paid somehow no. for, for those no. little clips? Nope. Because those, it, it, the music under, in those... Well, the way it works is um, Instagram does not do any sort of like... Uh, censorship unless it's for certain products so like let's say they see uh, budweiser beer in the background budweiser can then copyright that but if it's a small snippet of music it's considered under fair use <laughs> bloody instagram anyway that we're getting off topic boys this is a topic for yeah. another show talking oh. about licensing and things but anyway piracy piracy does end up um, on youtube as well like obviously we've all seen videos there do you think there's a certain degree of responsibility on the platform to control piracy or is it they, all they down do. to the developers okay so currently with youtube there there is a lot of intricate problems with the way they manage it um i do believe that the way they're trying to do it is good their implementation's bad, right? So like, let's say Simon's music is in someone's montage video and Simon doesn't like it, so he just takes down the video. Well, he can leave the video up now and just claim all profit off of it. So Simon earns money for for someone else's, I don't know, uh, visuals while he also earns money for his his music because the guy never asked for permission. Yeah. Well, anyway, on that note, we are actually going to end because I just realized we've gone way over the hour that we usually a lot. So everybody in the chat room, please say a big thank you to Kev and Simon again, who was, who was brought back in. Uh, don't yes, worry if you are watching this. everyone's time. Go, go ahead. Have you guys got anything you want to say to the chat room before we move on? Sorry, I was no. getting... We can, no, we can explore this so much more. I still have so enough. many points. Don't, don't worry. Don't go anywhere. I will bring you... So everyone, please say thank you to Kev and Simon. So piracy like we will be uh if you're watching this on youtube this is where the the video will end um for today's stream piracy you know we came up with a few different concepts is it you know uh is it the responsibility of the the developers it seems to be you know it seems like there's more work for developers to do um culturally we need to do a lot more piracy is something that people do seem to still kind of accept although i've noticed a lot of the callers uh Today, you know, we're on the side of anti-piracy, which is good for me to hear. But I know that when we get onto YouTube, you know, there is a lot more anonymity, Um, you know. So I am interested, if you're watching this on YouTube, and I know that there are going to be people who uh, have justifications for piracy, whatever that may be, uh, please do leave a comment down below and keep the discourse civil. You know, like there are people who are going to disagree with you. Um, if If you're watching this, and you you do pirate things, you know, please do reconsider, you know, at least, um, you know, for the smaller, the small, in fact, just our industry in general, you know, like I was going to say the small developers, but the big developers too, because when you pirate from someone in our very small industry, it does have a bigger impact than you think. It does have a bigger impact than it would in another industry of consumerism. Our, in our industry where where things have intrinsic value based on how many people own them, you know, things like that, like piracy does have an impact on our industry. So perhaps something to to um, consider, you know, next time you think about pirating, you know, and I and, and do remember, like, because I know that this will come up in some point. Remember that the, in civil society, obviously, you know, if you're an anarchist and you don't believe in governments and all that, you know, there's no convincing you. But in a civil society, transactions happen whether or not you know, you stand and have a formal transaction mode. If you copy one of my items, just because I didn't lose the item doesn't mean that we're not now in a transaction. If you have taken something from me, we are in a transaction, regardless of whether you copied it or whatever. All legitimate versions of my products are copies. So just saying you copied something isn't justification. Just because you can't afford something isn't justification. If you want to own things that we have, tell us how we can make it easier for you to get it without you stealing it from us. So remember, you enter into that transaction just because you copied it. Yes, you're not stealing the library physically from me, but you are stealing the opportunity for profit. Like we are supposed to, in a civil society, you take something from me, you compensate me for that thing. And the person who is giving the item is the person who sets the compensation. If that's too steep of a price for you, either you don't buy it, you know, either you don't buy it or you do. And if you don't buy it, that doesn't mean you can steal it just because you weren't happy with the conditions. That's what I'm saying. We're humans. There is a certain degree of kind of 
you know, it's a game we all have to agree to the rules on, you know, because if some people aren't playing by the rules, then the game falls apart. And that that is kind of the problem we have. And again, like people have said, there is a bit of a spectrum to piracy. You know, um, if you're making lots of money, you shouldn't be pirating at all. There's no excuse. If you're not making any money from it and things, you know, uh, people aren't going to be like, still don't do it, but people aren't going to be as hard on you, it seems. It's a really tricky topic to talk about without people, you know, getting very passionate about it, as we could see from a few people having their, um, you know, having their say. But that is where we're going to end the YouTube stream today. If you're watching on Twitch, hang around for a bit longer. We will continue this show and we will still have some more callers, you know, but I need to be able to, you know, make it make it watchable for people on YouTube. So if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for joining. Do remember to subscribe and bell and all that kind of whatever the the thing of the day is on YouTube. Remember to do that. And and again, before you downvote this because you disagree with the premise, instead consider leaving a comment telling me why because we are trying to improve this show so that we can make it better for you guys in the future, you know, and add more things onto it. So thank you YouTube people for watching the show today. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Leave all the comments and likes and stuff. Anyway, we will see you in the next the next episode of today with Daniel James, where we will be discussing, I think, licensing issues with things like YouTube and like we like we started to go into at the end of that conversation there. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today and we'll see you in the next one.